Okay, hello, welcome to this little hollow minute tutorial. I'm just going to be showing you everything I use and how I would do this. So, this is the minute program, live split, uh, some burner info that can be found at some other places. Ignore that bottom part, I don't know why that's here, I don't even know what that is. Uh, calculator, flow timer, and uh, it's more than everything you need. Um, Here's my minip settings that I use for any percent. And, uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna show the game and then show you how I do this. So, battle now and then single ultimate. So, we're just gonna input what shows up here and we're gonna keep doing this in the program until. There's only one possible seed remaining. Uh, this will usually take like 7 to 10. Uh, passes here, like, takes a little bit. I just keep going until there's one left. And so there's only one seed, so it has my seed now. And then we're going to reroll until we find one. So 118 away is. Hopefully I can show more stuff here. So there's this, 118 away. I kind of went over these functions in it, uh, last time, but so restore seed will take us back to zero. Auto reroll goes into, just rolls a custom amount that can be changed in the settings. Store seed means that I'll store this value so I can pass this and then come back to it by restoring seed, which uh, defaults to zero at the start of each attempt. And reroll is just an individual reroll, so I can see if there's one one frame ahead of the one I'm at. Okay, so we have uh, 800, or we have 118 rerolls here. So for 118 rerolls, I have this guide. I just have this. Um, this input can be found somewhere. Uh, in a paste bin, I'll try to see if I can make it uh, more easily accessible. I'll see if I can just have this put up somewhere. So, my guide here says 100 to 130, uh, two burners, immediate forfeit. And uh, I'll just go over what all these mean. So, Coliseum Battle, uh, Solo Battle, Coliseum Battle, Phoenix Stadium, Double Battle. And so, this is a save file that is available on speedrun.com that will have the specific Pokemon in it uh, that I use and that many other people use. Uh, I believe it was uploaded by Shen, so thank you to him for making this. So yeah, you uh, start a battle. And I'll just go over it all these mean here. So, um, because I'm 118, I'm in this range, and I'm going to go with two burners, immediate forfeit. And what that means is th these are describing the first two Pokemon you want to bring. So a burner is either Charizard or Ghastly. Preferably Charizard. Um, a normal is a Pokemon that doesn't advance RNG. And what that is out of this group is Coughing, Tangela, and Farfetch'd. And then Moltres uh, burns more than everything else here, so that's why it's given its own individual spot. So if I were in this number range, I would go uh, Charizard plus like Tangela, probably. Uh, in this one, I am going to go Charizard plus Ghastly. Uh, if I was doing this, it would be Moltres plus Tangela, and if I was doing this, it would be Moltres plus Charizard. And you want it to be in that order, because they get sent out in a specific order in battle, and that's important for how this works. So for this, I'm going to go Charizard, Ghastly, and then it doesn't matter what else I bring, so. And then you want to hold B when you're starting this, so that it goes through the sequence as fast as possible. You just hold B that whole time, and it'll pass it automatically. So I was just holding B, I wasn't like pressing anything, or like mashing anything. And then I'm going to immediately forfeit. Now, the way you forfeit is you write A, write A, and you do that twice. It's a little weird thing that you eventually want to get like pretty good at doing, because you have to be comfortable doing that very often. And then you B, and then... So no, and then yes for those. Then you just mash B to exit out of this. And we go back to battle now and find our seat again.
Okay, so we have it. Now when I do my rules, it's only 23 away. And so every rule is a team generation, so we just do this 23 times. And here we can see West Suicune matches up, so we know that I am on the right seed. And so, uh, this says 14.25 seconds here. And so, if I were going to aim for this one, I would go to my flow timer, I would input 14.250. And then, this is what I would use to try to hit my up. But I want to go over what would happen with the Molt Burners stuff, Molt Plus Burners, so anything over 160. So... Uh, for this exercise, I'm just going to say, what's a good number for this? We're going to say we're chasing one that's uh, 240 rules away. And I'm just going to go over what you would do in that instance. So, 240. We have, we're, we have some stuff here. So, 160 divided by 6. So, I would go 240 minus 160. 80 divided by 6, so 13.3. And so what this means is I would start a battle with Moltres and the Burner, and then wait 13 seconds. I'm just going to demo what that would look like. So this is a little trick I can show you for uh, whenever you're doing one of these with Moltres, is that Moltres actually has the move Endurance slot one, which uh, makes this menu easier. So start live split. Uh, when the battle starts there, not before, that's like when you want to start. And so only when it programs the purpose. So what I normally do with this is I would mash A here and then go to this. And then at 13 seconds, I exit. You can see my hotkeys because they're affecting Josh Dan calculating. And then what you would do after that is you would go find your seed, do your rerolls, and then uh, you basically do what I did last time to get here. And so if I wanted to hit this 14.25, uh, you would just go here. And so you'd start flow timer when this starts, or when you select this, and then uh, the frame you want to hit is. This input here is after you select the name Wes is the confirmation of it. So it would look something like this. And so that's my little quick tutorial. Uh, it's a hard thing to learn, but uh, the more you do it, the better you'll get at it. So that's uh, all the advice I'm going to give you. So thanks for watching.